series is arguably one of my favorite adventure RPG series. The series started out on Super Nintendo and found its way to other consoles before ending up on handhelds where it sort of just disappeared until the announcement of 2018's Secret of Mana remake. While I ended up liking this remake, many didn't think that it lived up to the series potential. Now, Square Enix has returned to the series to bring an entry west that only recently saw an English release in the collection of Mana, a remake of 1995's Seiken Densetsu 3 called Trials of Mana. After going hands on with the game, I could easily see the amount of work that the developer has put into making this retro RPG find a pill in this new console generation. The demo that I got to play had me assume the role of Durin at the beginning of a larger adventure. What was interesting about the gameplay at first was just how alive the town was. Exploring around allowed me to meet townspeople and other travelers as I learned more about the state of the kingdom and the world around me. In the story, Durin is fueled by the motivation of revenge after an attack was made against the kingdom that he serves, and his resolve shows in his skills as a swordsman. After leaving the castle, I was able to roam around the fields where I could battle enemies. The battle system felt responsive. Using special abilities and skills was always an easy button to press away, and I was truly having a great time playing. The addition of Reese and Charlotte also mixed up the battle system as they each controlled differently and had a totally different playstyle when compared to Durin. Graphically, Trials of Mana knows what it's trying to present utilizing a more cartoonish look that accents the game's high fantasy themes. The game may seem colorful and happy, but the story here gets pretty serious and will appeal to those looking for a more retro-styled adventure. I think that the work that they put into bringing this title to modern consoles pays off immensely, and it's honestly more than I could have asked for. Hell, I was fine with getting the game in the collection of mana. The music that I was able to hear while playing was enough for me to want more, and the recorded audio was also a nice surprise. One of the things that I went out to look for was the dancing innkeeper who was a mainstay in the series, and I can confirm that he is back and still dancing in this modernized adventure. Trials of Mana is going to be for fans begging for a classic RPG adventure on modern consoles. This is also the perfect way to experience a classic game in the West that not many have nostalgic feelings for since no one here grew up with it. It's a manly adventure that we can all enjoy together, and I can't wait to meet the entire six playable characters and learn more about this world. In the meantime, I'll finish the collection of mana and await this remix release. Trials of Mana is coming to PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC on April 24th, 2020.